Well, greetings. Uh, there's been questions rumbling around the uh, internet and cyberspace and the United States of America and the rest of the world. Can the JBL 066 be replaced, be repaired with replacement diaphragm? Well, the answer is this so far is as good as it's going to get. This particular diaphragm right here is an aftermarket diaphragm that is designed for the JBL 033. And I believe it also works for the 044. Now, it has a copper voice coil. This is the 066 diaphragm. This one has got some issues. It has an aluminum voice coil. So the inductance is going to be higher on this one. And the mass is going to be higher on this one with the copper voice coil. But this is as good as we can get to, re to repair these. There's also some differences on the suspension. You can see this has kind of a double... A double uh, concave suspension. This one has a single concave, large, much larger uh, roll uh, molded into the phenolic. Here is one that I have transferred. What, ha what has to be done is the mounting ring, this little aluminum mounting ring that fits into this recess here, needs to be removed from the diaphragm. So that takes some work, because this is bonded on here with some brown Bostic glue, so... Might have to soak it in some acetone to get it all to get it all clean. That's what I had to do with this one. But you can see the out, outer diameter. I'm being butterfingers here. The uh, outer trim of this phenolic diaphragm is pretty dead on with this one. So this one's going to fit right in there. I've kind of done a test sweep already. And it works pretty decent. So I got some other steps to go before I remove this damaged diaphragm from this aluminum mounting ring and put this diaphragm on it to come up with a couple of uh, good 066s. Somebody's going to ask, hey, what di where do you get those diaphragms? Well, since I'm in the business of repairing this stuff, uh, I'm not going to divulge my sources. I'm sure some somebody out, Eddie out, there, out there will know where they come from, but uh, <laughs> I'm not going to, I'm not talking right now until the day comes where I don't do this anymore. So it's proprietary information. In this one, what happened? I I actually had to take the top plate off of this one and rebond it because this voice coil was down in the gap because it came off of the This is what's left of the diaphragm mounting that came off of the ring that came off this one. So uh, it was a challenge. So I had to measure up some shim material and remount the top plate. So it's it's not trivial, you know. Anyway, so uh, if I think about it, I'll make a video of the end result 
these are going to undergo a vapor deposition process uh, to put some aluminum vapor on it, air quotes, also known as spray paint because JBL when their aluminum vapor deposition vacuum chamber broke they went to using spray paint and uh, I, I guess if this one has been touched up previously by whoever had this before with some spray paint but when you see these uh, pieces of aluminum that have flaked off that's the vapor that's the aluminum vapor that has actually gotten uh, broken away from the phenolic diaphragm so vapor deposition process will be coming up long-winded I know but hey that's what I do sometimes sometimes I just I end up rambling on and people go would you just fix my speakers and get them back to me? Well, this is some of the stuff that I go through to get people's speakers back to them so they work. And I might, I might sound a little bit adamant about that, but I get lots of stuff in here that uh, is broken. And some places just don't attempt to do a good job to repair them. So that's why some of this stuff takes as long as it does. And plus the parts availability is, is sometimes spotty and uh, time and yada, yada, yada. Oh well, now, now I'm rambling and this is crap that you don't want to hear about. So all that matters is that I'm doing my damnedest to get this stuff fixed. Okay, love you all, bye.